You thought I wasn't religious anymore? No. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. I have never in my life not been a Christian. I said I don't usually. There, there's a lot of people who would say I'm not a good Christian um, because I have a lot of criticisms of the church and church doctrines. Uh, I think they get a whole shitload wrong. But, hey, I mean, you know, so does everybody in the long run. They just may not think about it. Hmm. But yeah, no, I've never not been a uh, a believer in the Christian God or Jesus or anything like that. I just think um, churches have a lot of convenient things that kind of go uh, towards the benefit of the church a lot more than the benefit of the people. So you don't even believe Jesus is God, though. Says who? <laughs> I don't know where you come up with this stuff. I, I have an idea. I have an idea. See, I talked about uh, approaching certain biblical stories from a from a critical literary theory perspective, and what that does. I don't want I, this. Does not need to be a fucking Bible stream, um, but what it does to approach stories in the Bible as if some sort of expectation. If you're if you're doing it theologically, you use a hermeneutic. If you're doing it from a literary aspect, it's critical theory. And you just say, hey, what if this story starts with this premise behind it and we read it? Does that change the truth of it? Does it change the meaning? Does it change the validity of God? How might this impact how we perceive God accomplishes a task? And I think in one stream, one time, maybe it was two, I don't know. I've talked about this potential way to explain uh, the birth of Jesus in um, biological means rather than spiritually, uh, what you would call it, miraculous means. That doesn't necessarily mean I believe this. The question is, if you read the Bible in this way, if you if you try and strip out the mysticism of it and just go with, can this be explained by science or what do you want to do here? How could this have happened in another way? Does it invalidate the story? Does it validate it? Does it change the meaning I've talked about doing that in the, I think it's a really useful exercise, but that's my just general way of approaching literature. And the Bible is this great piece of literature uh, when you get down to it. So I've done this with tons and tons of Bible stories. It doesn't mean I don't necessarily believe them. It just means if they have to happen in one particular way and don't, does it change the meaning and definition? Does it change your belief? What does it mean about God and Christ and all of this shit that people believe? That doesn't mean I don't believe any of that stuff. It just means here's how you explore through a topic or a question. And if people can't do that, if you can't build a layer of, of abstraction between your preconceptions and your ability to discern what you're ingesting, then I don't think you're actually exploring anything at all. But I don't know. That's how like I've always kind of approached things and then... You know, I, as I as I was educated through a shitty writing program and then a shitty law program, you have to kind of do this stuff as well. Like you have to read it in different ways to try and figure out what the fuck is going on. But it's no, uh, again, it, it's not even indicative of what your um, like what your actual beliefs are. Uh, you might start with a premise that is completely ridiculous. Um, but hey, it, I don't know. So that's what. I, I don't know if that's what people have gathered, but those uh, those questions actually do end up getting you in uh, in trouble uh, in churches all the time. And uh, I know Peter Klein says, I was LARPing as a trad Christian then dropped the mask when drunk. No, literally never LARPed as a trad Christian uh, because I haven't been a trad Christian in a long time. Uh, people decided I was a trad Christian because I had five kids and I'd been married a long time. And I'm a Christian. But uh, a trad one? No, probably not kind of fucking heathen a lot of times but none of that matters because it is what it is uh but no i i've always been a christian i just say i say mostly tongue-in-cheek that i'm kind of a bad one because i ask questions about uh stuff that makes churchgoers uncomfortable that's okay they do shit that makes me uncomfortable <laughs> 